Hi, my name is Mike Grissenthwaite. I'm a director of a organisation called NASA, which is concerned with exercise and rehabilitation for people who've been diagnosed with cancer, whether as a patient or as a survivor. Now, the single most important thing that people don't realise as a cancer patient is that by being active, and that means doing moderate exercise up to 30 minutes a day, five times a week, can give you an enormous amount of benefit. The reason I um, organised NASA was uh, through my own cancer experience as a uh, former top flight rugby player and a triathlete uh, cyclist. Once I had been diagnosed with uh, lymphatic cancer in 2000, I was curious as to whether I was doing myself any harm by carrying on uh, swimming, running and uh, biking. Um, the evidence uh, that I found, to my surprise, was that I wasn't going to do myself any harm. In fact, I was going to do myself a lot of good. I was going to reduce the uh, level of fatigue I was going to feel during my treatment. I was going to give myself a better opportunity of coming out of the treatment in a, uh, in a good physical condition or a better physical condition. Um, so I gathered together as much evidence as I could and met a lot of really interesting people who were working in the field, very few in the UK I'm afraid to say. I decided that this message needed to be promoted throughout the UK, throughout the country, to medical professionals, to patients and to the greater public. Now the single most important thing that NASA can achieve is spreading the, the message that cancer and, uh, and is, is positively influenced by exercise and activity. And to do that, I envisage a uh, national uh, institute based somewhere in the UK where people can go, um, get advice, get information, be trained, and also spread um, educational material throughout the NHS and throughout schools, wherever it needs to go. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, very good. Hey, sure. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.